What's up, guys? Not to underscore here. Back with another episode of the Pokemon Diamond Randomizer Nuzlocke. When we left off, we were just chilling out in this little middle of nowhere town and training up our team. Uh, there's actually a little area I skipped earlier here where you can train up because double battles. So let's do that. There's no need for technique. You just have to read what's in your opponent's heart. When I say hard, I don't mean the person's thinking. It's about how they want to be perceived. Do you? Would you like me to think of you as a tough trainer? Yes. Fight me. Alright. Mantike and Drifloon. Weak to electric and super weak to electric. Well, you might have to go some so... Let's send out... You're weak to flying. You're weak to water. Actually, just get it so they can't hit ya. Alright, man tag down. Tried and failed to use payback. Ooh. Ooh, aftermath hurts, but who cares? Skip loom. Um Yeah, this should be truly effective. Hopefully I can get a one turn flying type move on this course. As of now, this last. All right, great. <laughs> Bad feelings about me, huh? All right, bumbling idiot and his girlfriend, Author Mia and Nurse Tia. <laughs> well, you got good rhyme names. Well done there. Your Celia's gonna get hurt though. And I guess flies my soul attacking with an underscore now. <laughs> oh well. You really? You have Astonish and you tried to use it on the Ampharos and not the Zatu? You aren't the smartest. Alright, get ear suck, get thunder shocked, and heal that little damage out there. Swab blue. Uh, you Thundershock it, you confuse it, because we need to be brutal. There we go. Well, my wish never came true. It was a sad day. Alright, switch Mary to the back there. And who's closest to leveling up? All of you. <laughs> Yeah, let's have Stony and Underscore, the oldest and the newest. Mm-hmm. All right, you're an eccentric, I get it. Manager Marcellus and Professor Liliana. Oh, my God. Hey, fire types. <laughs> Hope you don't mind a little uh, magnitude coming your way. And let's hope I'm faster than you so that I can avoid your dark type move. Nine. Well done, Stony. With nearly the power of an earthquake. <laughs> Underscore is still in the sky when that battle ends. Uh, is that okay? Oh, it's an old happy couple that's not yet married. Interesting. Okay, what, what, what's with the hound dudes? What's the deal? Magnitude and fly again. Got it. Hate. Stony. Bringing it in. Wismer is going to take the... Oh, and it's a little hound door. I don't know why I put emphasis on the word hound door. It's dead. And that rock blast better have missed because the target just happened to avoid it. <laughs> I don't want none of that. You can't hit what's dead. BS. <laughs> oh, whatever. A multi-hit move. KOs on the first try. You know that it's... It's a strong move in a weak Pokemon, really. Oh. Oh, this stuff could totally kill me, but I don't believe in death. <laughs> Because both of you guys are four times effective on Graveler. One of you is dead. 
and the other one aimed for underscore. So, good job. All right. Ugh. I hate it when you use a move and there's no target, because you pretty much just wasted your turn. That's what that's saying. Oh god, Stoney's gonna get hit with a grass move or an ice move now. That's no bueno. I don't really have anything on the team that can fight this well, but... Get missed! Ooh, never mind. Crit kill. For the win. Alright, uh, is that everyone? Yep. The, the incest couple wasn't there. <laughs> that place is famous for having, um... A double battle with two people who are both who are on a date, and they're both referring to it as their father's restaurant. <laughs> so I'm not sure if it's like a statement on aristocrats being inbreds or what, but it is some frightening stuff. All right, Sandshrew versus Stony it could be a better matchup. Boom, made it a better matchup. Because I'm a poke genius. Ha. Well, Pixie, say. Right back into Stony. Stop showing us your butt, Well, Pixie, and get magnituded straight to hell where you belong. Cyndaquil, same thing. Maybe not. <laughs> Can't win them all, folks. Oh, come on. There we go. All right, what's your story, Fisher guy? What? You said the people in the place were too cool to battle with anyone. That's not the case. All of them battled. All several of them. All right, Metapod's dead. Slack off. Underscore's got that. Oh, yeah. Little head scratcher. Alright, I'll just fly. You'll miss me. Hit you. And even if you survived, you wouldn't have attacked there. Rapidash, huh? Some cool Pokemon are being used here. This thing actually might be strong enough to withstand a few turns of my nonsense with, like, Wish and Infuse Ray. Alright, so let's. Eh, Nightshade. No way, that was 31 HP. Alright. Now we just gotta train up Soar. I tell you, my team might not be a full team, but it is a really strong team. Made up of almost entirely second generation Pokemon. Like, like just look at these guys for a second. You can check out the top screen or this one. Or not the top screen, but, you know, the area above the video. Soar, 2nd gen, Underscore, 2nd gen, Mary, 2nd gen, Stony, 1st gen, Broom, 2nd gen. So, I don't know if that says anything about my taste, <laughs> but overall, I like all generations of Pokemon somewhat equally, but I think the Pokemon in the first two generations are just more appealing to me. Now let's talk to Dr. Footstep and find out what my Pokemon think of me. Alright, I'll let my Bayleaf walk in front of you. This adventure with Lucas is lots of fun. Sora gets to go places where I can't go by myself, and switch between third and first per person. I get to battle Pokemon I've never ever seen before. I'm gonna get stronger and stronger. Lucas. Yay! My Sora loves me. I don't know why I opened up the Pokedex. Alright. Oops. Okay, good. Didn't mean to. Underscore. Better love me. Alright. What are those noises? Zatu happens to be quite the silent type. Alright, I mean, I'm a quiet person myself. Uh, that's kind of surprising, though, since I've had that for the longest and taken the most steps with it. So it should like me the most, but whatever. Humans can't understand the cries of Pokemon, not our feelings. However, there are some among us that can understand human speech. Hehe, <laughs> Lucas, you're not bad for a human. He's new to the team. I'll let him be a little sassy. You better believe I'm doing this for my whole team. 
All right. Let's see what Mary thinks. This adventure, okay, is this the same thing? All right, exactly the nice little speech given to me by Sor. And finally, Broom. First catch, you better like me. Broom and Lucas make a perfectly matched combo. I've seen all sorts of people so far, but Lucas understands Broom's feelings the most. I'm a little hungry. You can tell, right? <laughs> all right, so I got a really high level of bonding with Broom. The underscore seems to be the only one that doesn't really like me, and Stoney's new, so... Glad you all enjoyed that dribble. <laughs> I don't know, I like to look at the happiness aspect of Pokemon. It intrigues me. Even though I really do not like the anime. Kind of contradictory, but whatever. Alright, this guy's got a big... Let's send out Stone. Here, screw you. I got defense for days. Magnitude 9. Mish. Alright. Oh no, you're fine. I wasn't leading with Graveler. Alright. What do you got to say for yourself, buddy? Oh, yep. Rock climb. And this is the same route as before, so I don't get to try to catch this slack off. Oh no! What a disappointment! I'm sad about that. No, I'm not. Alright, Rossberry, aka Burn Heal. No, 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 no. Another burn heal. Aguav. Nope. Yep, -ba -ba. Nope. Alright, uh, is there some down here? Nope, just more grass. And Goldeen. Alright, this would have been an underwhelming route. What was it that I failed to catch before? It was... Oh yeah, Lotet, so who cares, really? Alright, now we're in Pastoria. Nice. Great Marsh. Yeah. Alright, so that's what we're going to spend the rest of this episode on. The uh, Gen 4 Safari Zone. I'm going to count every area as its own, like, type of place to be. So, like, every time the environment changes, um... I can try to catch a different one. So there's a gold ad. Not very high interest level in there. I already have a flying type, so... I mean, I'll throw a ball, see what it says. Oh. Alright, well, now I got a gold ad. Um... Alright. I mean, you got a weird mouth. Maybe I'll... comment on your weird mouth by just naming you mouth in all caps. <laughs> This is assuming that I don't use you ever and don't turn you into the far superior Crobat. But for now, you're going to be known as Mouth. You're on my team right now, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> Alright, I don't think I'm going to add that to the little top of the screen thing. Since I'm not planning on using it. Alright, so there are four areas. That's four possible catching opportunities. Um... This is area two, are you sure? Seems like this is far. Alright, Krogunk. Don't got no poison type, don't got no fighting types. Let's try. <laughs> Sweet, loving that catch rate. Um, Rock had a Krogunk in the Sinnoh anime. And it was a total... I'm just going to use the asterisk. Krogunk. C K. All right. Yep. Because Brock's Crow Gunk, I can speak. <laughs> Brock's Crow Gunk was always stopping him from doing his like little um other oh, six areas. Jeez, <laughs> doing his little like romantic showcases <laughs> where he would fall in love with a random nurse Joy or Officer Jenny. Starly! I like Staraptor. <laughs> the name of this episode is Surplus. And I'm going to name you Amelia, after Amelia Earhart, the female pilot. L-I-A. I probably could have chosen a better female pilot than that, but whatever. The bird, the female. Yay.
Alright, so I did, I did one and two and three. Area four didn't show up. Oh. Never mind, I did five and two and three. So let's go to area one then. There's a lot of speed up happening. <laughs> and what do we got? A save line, no weaknesses. Oh. Let's bait it. And mud it. And ball it. Oh. Let's mud it again. And ball it. And mud it. It's gonna run away. <laughs> Excuse me. One second. Okay, so I think this thing's just gonna be annoying, so... No save live for me. Also, I just did a weird thing with the recording, so I'm not sure if it's completely intact. Sorry if it isn't. I've lost track of which areas I've been to, so I'll just go to Area 6 and call it a day. Oh. If they're on different sides, they're different areas. Look at that. An antidote. And the last thing I'll try to catch is a Nidoran. Sure, I like Nidoqueen. Queen. Alright. <laughs> so that was a lot of catching. Now we got it back up. And I'm going to, once again, steal Dookie Shed's ideas by naming this thing... Precious. I'm not going to bother explaining that. If you don't watch his videos, it'll be lost on you. If you do, you already know what I'm talking about. I know you spell precious. If not, it is now. Alright, that was fun. <laughs> uh, yep. Alright. So that was a whole lot of nonsense. So let's heal up our Pokemans. And I mean, I don't really need to do any extra training for Crash Awake. If I remember correctly, his Pokemon are like the same level as um what's her faces as Maylene's. So it's just I mean, do I even want a fifth team member? I, I guess let's let's give Mustang another shot. So next time we'll challenge Crash Awake's randomized gym. With Mustang on the team, holding the next B-Share. See you then. See ya.